Hey everybody, VR Gaming Fan here. So it turns out the one major complaint that people have about specifically the Vive, VR in general, but specifically the Vive, because the, the Vive's focus was more on immersion rather than fine detail. So you had a larger field of view, but you sacrificed fine detail, was that far away small objects and uh, small text were difficult to see in the Vive, they were easier to see in the Rift. Well, it turns out that there is a solution, and it's built right into Steam VR. Now, they don't have a graphical way of setting this, but uh, you can either go in and edit the configuration files, or there is a simple little utility, which is what I use. You just run the utility, it comes up, you just set the setting, and then that's it. It's done for you. Now, unfortunately, what this does is what is known as oversampling, which is basically it renders the game at a, at a higher resolution. How much higher is uh, what you configure it for? Normal resolution, one and a half times the resolution, two times, two and a half times, three times. And then it downsamples from that higher resolution rendering. And what you end up with is much better graphics. You get much crisper lines, everything is clearer, there's more detail. Everything is cleaner. Now I'm going to be showing some screenshots through this video, uh, which will be added in during editing, so I don't know exactly when the various screenshots will be appearing, so I won't be directly referencing them while I'm talking. But you will see that the difference between just normal 1 times and 1.5 times is significant. The text is much, much clearer. So the issue of being able to see fine, detailed text or small objects in the distance and stuff like that is taken care of and it's already there it's it's not something that's like you know it's a future thing that'll be added on or whatever the capability is already there the thing is it is more processing work for your video card significantly more processing work so for my card which doesn't quite meet minimum spec for most games I can't use it uh, I was able to run Brookhaven experiment with it uh, set to 1.5 times and I didn't have any problems. But I tried running the lab with it. I tried running Light Blade VR. They were completely unplayable to the point where like, there was so much lag I was nauseous. But again, I don't have even the minimum recommended hardware. So it's not surprising that my hardware can't handle it when I'm telling it to work 1.5 times harder. But if you have a video card that's actually recommended for VR, especially the new 10 series cards, the 1070, 1080, you will be able to use these oversampling settings to clear up the issue that people have complained about, where in some games, because a lot of games they'll use large blocky text and things like that, it's not an issue, but some games that are not specifically designed for VR, like Elite Dangerous is a good example of this. It's not a specifically VR game, so the, the interface the, the UI was designed without VR in mind. And so there's a lot of fine detail, fine text, things like that. And it can be difficult to see on the Vive. Using this oversampling setting, that problem is taken care of. So you don't have to wait for the next generation of hardware or buy anything extra or whatever. It's built right into Steam VR. I will put a link in the description for the utility you can download is just a, a simple little two file utility you just double click on it you don't even have to install it and you go you click on uh, top left hand corner there's a little cog wheel icon click on that look for the oversampling setting which uh, should be should show one uh, as the default and change that ramp it up 1.5 2 2.5 or 3 now i don't think there's a video card on the planet that can handle 3 and it's unnecessary. As you can see from the, the screenshots that I'm either displaying right now or have already displayed, who knows? Um, you can see just go from going from 1 to 1.5, the text clears up. So you don't need to just go whole hog. And you can get a significant increase in the, the fine detail resolution, which will allow you to be able to see distant objects and be able to read fine text. Add to that the reprojection option which exists for the Vive. Now the Rift has something similar to it called Time Warp, 
but it's a limited version of reprojection. Basically, there's two different types of reprojection, and the time warp for the rift is only one of the two types. But reprojection is an option which is available actually in the graphical checkbox, normal options, where the, uh, the software will fill in missing frames by using the last frame that it had already rendered, preventing dropped frames. So between that solution, which allows your hardware to keep up the 90 frames per second when it can't actually do 90 frames per second, and the oversampling to clear things up, smooth edges, and make more crisp detail, you can get truly stunning VR experiences with the first generation hardware. So really, really good news. And none of it costs anything extra, which is even better. Talk to you next time.